indirect tactics, efficiently applied, are inexhaustible as heaven and earth. Unending is the flow of rivers and streams. Like the sun and moon, they end but to begin anew. Like the four seasons, they pass away to return once more. amazing do so uh, we've taken the bitter off this morning that's all down here in cask we've unloaded Stu he's got uh, all this beer pattern that he picked up the other day from Oldham or Bolton 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 and then in here we have the cask python chiller which well I'm gonna have to obviously take down the bottom and make sure that she's in good nick so we wanted a 14 line we ended up with an 18 that was quite a beast and then we've got a 6 and a 10 on these two so that's the 10 this is going to be the cascale python that's a nice one that 10 and then this 6 is going to be for the ciders a lot of line to fit and we've also got to go and measure up for the CCTV cables today as well, that's another job. So let's crack on with that. When Stuart got there, the guy didn't have the 14 line, so he gave us an 18 line, but in one big length. So instead of two sections at nine, he thought he was giving us 18 metres of 18 line, I guess. I've just measured it out. We've got 31 metres of 18 line. We've got 11 metres of six. And we've got 11 metres of 10. 
The plan is mark on the walls with this orange paint exactly where I think things are going to live. In the room where we knocked the ceiling down, needs a new light switch, then in here we could just have all the cask on this wall, I'm thinking. So that wall is big enough to house probably, well, looking at the floor space. So, a little change of plan. I think we're just gonna sort of go with the coolers in here. Oh, focus, get in frame. Two coolers side by side. We'll have the other cooler on that shelf, the, uh, the Python cooler. Kegs along here, down here. Maybe in that cubby hole in the corner. And then a keg where every orange dot is. Cask, sorry, a cask, wherever orange dot is. And then tomorrow I've got to put these lights up, change this light fitting, because it's dodgy. So there's a fair bit to be done, folks. Mmm, something that's been bothering me though. I've been buying beer and cider to drink at home. I managed to get myself a Cornelius keg with uh, the dregs of the vacant yesterday when it was cast or ca yeah cast so we've uh, we've got one shot in here and that's what we're going to be taking home with us so we'll take this tonight and then i just rigged up because i've not used the lines for a while at home so i just rigged up a little gas serving and cleaning rig so i can use that flow jump flow jump flow jet pump to clean the lines when I get home off the back of the CO2 bottle uh, that will run off this secondary here and then this one here with the dial will pressurize my keg and I've used my primaries down here in the unit or up in the pub so this one I picked up from Grimsby on Saturday works fine I've tested it so we'll be able to use that for serving put that there in case I need any tools to sort it out. So fingers crossed, I've still got a black disconnect on the bar at home, and then all I need to do is turn the cooler on and hook the pipe work up, and then we're golden. So let's go and check it. <laughs> Thankfully we've got some gas, so because we've got some gas that means we can hook this gas board up, that'll do me. And also we do have beer lines, there are two for tap one and tap three I think. There we go, we've got CO2 in there, that's working, so we'll use tap three. See if we can get that to come round. Right, so tap three. So we'll pop that up here for tap three. We have gas. Let's turn this on. Bring it up. Right, we need to get rid of what's. Oh, that might be it actually. Yes. So now that's just going round and round. And then I'm going to leave that to rest for 10 minutes, come back with some water and then we're going to put the vacant in here and, uh, and chill it all down. Yes! 
and we're gonna have vacant on tap at home again. <laughs> Now we're effectively just running, running, just running tap water straight through the kit to give it a rinse. And once this is done, oh, we'll be ready to put the vacant on. Right, once again for the second time, I'm in a difficult position here because I don't have the tripod. So we're going to get washed out a little bit with the sunlight from where I put you but again with the free advertising for my mates at Beer Heads let's have a look how this one pulls all I did was just let a bit of gas out and let it sit for 10 minutes and I think that chaps is pretty much what we've been waiting for wouldn't you say Oh look at that, it's hazy and it was the last one out of the tank. Oh, and it's a bit warm, but God it's good. The vacant lives at Harry's Home Brewery once more. We'll see you tomorrow.